Now, we're supposed to start with this legal methodology stuff, but that's super boring. Let's do something a little more fun. How about case training? Donahue and Stevenson? I'm going to be learning Donahue and Stevenson. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey Mikey, I think she likes it. How about some more? Heck yes. What is she doing? 10 hours straight. She's a machine. I know Henderson and Merritt syndicates. Show me. Ladies, I represent the names, including Mr. Henderson. The names suffered losses because of the negligence of the managing agents. Some of the names had contracts with the underwriting agents, and some did not. All are bringing claims against these agents. All of the names are investors in Lloyds of London. Lloyd's is an insurance company which insured property in America. Hurricanes led to devastating losses. The names are seeking compensation from the agents. My ladies, this is a case that falls under the principles established in Headley, Byrne, and Heller. In cases like these, even without a contract, certain parties are recognized to owe a duty of care. The agents were special experts who knew the names relied upon them. It does not matter if it is pure economic loss, as this is one of the cases that recognizes that liability may attach to pure economic loss. Although Headley envisions liability for those not in contract, it would not be logical for the law to offer less protection for those parties in contract who are paying for the services. The only option is to allow concurrent liability and let the party seek damages either in contract or tort. Justice Marden, the only damage suffered in this case is pure economic loss. Therefore, no liability should attach to the agents. Concurrency must not be allowed in the law. The will of the contracting parties must be respected. The only remedy available to contracting parties should be a contractual remedy to allow those not in a contractual relationship to claim damages would be pure nonsense. If there truly was reliance, why didn't the parties in reliance seek out a contract? The sanctity of the contract must be protected from the invasion of tort. This claim must fail. Well, although pure economic loss parasitic upon physical damage is not recognized in England, Headley Byrne has not been overruled. Pure economic loss is not a problem here because this case falls specifically within the type of relationship set out in Headley Byrne as giving rise to a duty. The will of the parties is important, but concurrent liability can still exist without violating their will as long as the remedies in tort are not inconsistent with the terms of the contract. This is the logical conclusion of Headley Byrne that a tortious duty of care arises not only in cases where the relevant services are rendered gratuitously, but also in those where they are rendered under contract. In this case, the plaintiff may choose to pursue the matter in whichever cause of action seems most advantageous to them.